Let's learn how to download and install Minecraft mods from Modrinth. All right, so we find ourselves on modrinth.com over here, a great place to, well, as you can see, for Minecraft mods plugins and all sorts of other things. And how can you download mods? Well, there are a couple of ways to do this. Number one, you can just go to the Discover Mods over here and you can see you can download the mods individually. So, for example, let's say you're like, I really want some shaders. Right, so then you can go to the iris shaders, for example. You go to the featured versions right here. You can even see all of them, as you can see. It supports specific mod APIs, in this case, Fabric Quilt, and then the actual version right here. And you can download those jar files individually. So you click download right here, and it's going to download a jar file. You would then have to move this jar file into the mods folder of your of your Minecraft instance. And from that point onwards, the actual mod is installed. Of course, it is very important, right? If this is fabric, you also have fabric installed. So in this case, if we go back over here, we would also need the fabric API. That is one thing. If you want mod packs, you can also take a look at mod packs, for example, right? The official Cobblemon mod pack is here. We've got, we've got the Pixelmon mod pack. There's a lot of different cool mod packs that are available. Now, those are a bit more complicated, let's say, because the mod packs, of course, have way more things in them, right? They have actually multiple mods in them. And you can see to install this, you actually want to download the Modrinth app. I highly recommend you go this route anyway, because the Modrinth app is just way better. So to download them, we're just going to go to modrinth.com slash app, and I'm going to download it for Windows in this case. You can see there are multiple versions, right? So you have Windows, you've got Mac, you've got Linux. So there's a couple of different versions. Of course, make sure to download the one that you need. I'm going to download, as I've said, the Windows beta version right here. So in this case, we can just install this like any other program onto your PC. You can choose where to install it into. We're going to install it. There you go. And then we're done and we can launch the app. A pretty nice intro over here and we can get started so you can see we can sign into Minecraft or we can just not sign into Minecraft. We can also log into our Modrinth account if we have one. If we don't, that's fine. We can even import projects from other launchers. That's it. That is pretty cool, right? So if you have like Multicraft, AT launcher, things like that, that is pretty cool. But in this case, we don't need that. It's pretty cool. We are even getting a little bit of a tutorial right here, right? So you can see this is the homepage. You can click on things. It's actually pretty well done. Let's just go through this. So you can see we can search for content. There's mod pack downloads right here. There's a library that you have. There's playing mod packs. You can change settings. There you go. And now we're in here. And we can now start and do all sorts of things. One thing that a lot of people want to do is they want to download mod packs, for example. So let's just take a look over here and let's say, you know what? I really wanted to play the Cobblemon official mod pack. So we're going to go in here and what we can do is we can just hit install. And from here on out, it's doing basically everything on its own. It's downloading the mod pack. It's going to extract everything. It's going to make sure that everything is all right. And then from, from clicking the install button to clicking the play button, we basically don't need to do anything ourselves. So you can see it's downloading Minecraft. So we have a so we have a separate instance of Minecraft. We can even go onto our library right here and we can now see our Cobblemon mod pack right here. I can click on this and I can see, you know, the different mods that it has, the different mod content that it has right here. And now I can just hit play. Now, of course, this does not work because we don't have any credentials available. So in this case, we need to sign in. So when you're on the Microsoft account right here, you want to copy your code right here and you want to paste this in, go next. You then want to log into your Microsoft account that has your that has your Minecraft on there. So let's sign in over here. So Modrinth is going to access these different things. That's totally fine. We're going to accept this and we're all done. And we can now go back over here and you can see all of a sudden I am logged in and this is even my skin. Awesome. With this done now, we can hit play. On the first time, it takes a little while until everything works. That's just the nature of it, right? But after a few seconds over here, you can see all of a sudden Cobblemon Fabric is starting. And there we go. We're now in the Cobblemon mod pack. Absolutely amazing, right? We can change the settings, whatever we want to do over here. And there you go. So that is pretty cool. And that is basically how you can get mod packs and also mods from Modrinth. Now, one thing, of course, that's quite important is the custom ones, right? So we can also create a custom profile. So if we just do this, you can see we can create a profile. So this is my cool mod pack, right? So if you want to make your own mod pack, you can create it with different loaders. So let's say I want a Forge mod pack for a specific version, 120.1. Right. We can even go advanced. So this is then going to be you know, different versions. So I can even select the specific Forge version here in this case that I want. In this case, I personally know, OK, 47.1.3 has the most mods that are compatible with this. So we're going to do that. This is my cool mod pack. We're going to create this. 
And there we go. Now it's downloading Minecraft again because basically every instance has its own Minecraft downloaded. Pretty useful so that they're all separated. So that basically each one of the instances, right, each one of the each one of the profiles has its own Minecraft. That's pretty awesome. We can go in here and basically what we can now do is we can add content to this. And this is really cool because we can just go in here and we can say, well, what do I want to have? Well, maybe we want some magic mods, right? Okay, sure. Right, there you go. Waystones. Let's install Waystones over here. I think that that's pretty cool. A vein mining one. Let's install that as well. Why not? The Enderman Overhaul. I really like that mod. Let's install this as well. And Botania. That's a classic over here. You love to see it. And maybe we want to look at Alex's Caves as well. So we have these ones now installed. And if we now go back to our library right here in my cool mod pack, you can see these are the different mods that we've installed and you can see there are a couple more right curious api citadel has been added bomb those are dependencies from the other mods right so for example alex's caves because of all of the cool mobs that it adds right it needs citadel because that's sort of a library that helps alex's caves to create the models and similarly i believe that enderman overhaul uses gecko lib I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. The general idea is just that everything that you need for a specific mod to play gets downloaded automatically. This is really awesome. And with this done, the correct versions are basically being used over here. We can now hit play on our custom mod pack, right? The custom mods that we've chosen. And you can even see right here, it's starting to load up. And once it's done, you can see we are in the game over here. There are the mods, right? So we have all of the mods that we have downloaded right here and we're totally good to go. And there you go. If you ever want to navigate to your mod packs in your library, you can hit the folder right here and it's going to open exactly where you are. Now, one thing is that all of these things are downloaded in your app data. This might not be the best thing for you. This might not be a thing that you want, right? So this is for advanced users that a thing. You can go to the settings and you can see this is the app directory where it is installed where the launcher stores all of its files. So you can, of course, change this. You can also sign into your Modrenth account and there's a bunch of different settings that you can basically take a look at over here. What kind of a window will this open in and all sorts of other things, right? What's the what's the memory allocated to an, an instance? There are a bunch of things that you can do right here. Highly recommend it to take a look at those, of course. But there you go. That is how you can download mod packs, mods, create your own instances and all of that jazz with Modrenth. If you want to know how to do the same thing with Curse Forge, you can take a look at the left video or YouTube recommends the right video to you. Hope to see you in one of those. So, yeah.